Well, new at five, hurricane season off to a busy start with Chantal, but things have quieted down for now. You better knock on some wood, byproduct. Here's paper. <laughs> Meteorologist Dave Downey shows why September and October are the months to really watch out for this year. It's hurricane season, as we know, already off to a busy start in our backyard with Chantal a couple weeks ago. The average third name storm doesn't usually come until about August 10th, so we're ahead of schedule in that regard. There's another area the Hurricane Center is watching. We've been talking about it, low chance of development. We're not going to get Dexter out of this one, just some showers and thunderstorms heading towards Barbados. Let's talk about the rest of the Atlantic as a whole. This is ocean temperatures compared to average right now. Big area of above average temperatures between us and Bermuda out to the east. But the main takeaway here is the main tropical Atlantic average or even below average. This is way different than last year. This entire area was highly above average last year, which led to barrel, of course, a cat five storm in July that raced off Africa. The other thing the Atlantic has working against it, the overall energy, this blue line here is much lower than the average black line. We'll see if that changes heading into August, but that's two main factors the Atlantic has going against it for getting the season going, I guess, early as we head into August. So the main takeaway here is that the main tropical Atlantic probably going to take some weeks to wake up. We could get maybe one or two storms between now and Labor Day, but some of the smarter meteorologists online, some of the PhD folks doesn't have the season really ramping up until after Labor Day. As we've seen already, though, a higher homegrown storm risk with the storms just off the coast. And September, October are going to be busy, just like last year. Helene, late September, and Milton in October last year. Only takes one. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.